GP Globster here. Today I'm going to talk about mixed reality and show you how you can actually build a Power Apps application including mixed reality, be able to use the controls to capture images that are including your MR model and the physical surroundings and actually put that into a gallery. Now we have quite a bit of um, elements here to deal with today so I'm going to show you quickly how to build this app, how to leverage it, how to actually work around a few things and then get the results that you want for you, for your business. So let's see how it's done. So here I am on the Power Apps Maker experience and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click new and select blank canvas app. This one is going to be called Mixed Reality and it's going to be set up as a tablet application. So I'm just going to hit create. And the first thing you'll see me doing is I'm going to go and enable Mixed Reality. This Mixed Reality is an experimental feature that you can find here under advanced settings and it's enabled on a per app basis. So I'm just going to scroll down, locate it, turn it on, and then I'm going to return to the app. So once I'm here in Power Apps, if you go to the navigation bar, you'll quickly see that the mixed reality components have been added at the bottom of the, of the navigation. So the first one is this view in MR uh, preview. And that's by the way, all mixed reality components are in preview. But the next thing you'll get to see is under media, there is a new option called view in 3D inner uh, preview. That's the one I'm going to be using right now, and that's going to actually set up a viewport for my 3D model. Now, if you saw my previous video, you already know what a 3D model is. I'm just going to play around with this a little bit just to get the size that I want. And then um, accommodate a little bit to this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and rename this control. I'm going to call this viewport. Okay, once I have um, the viewport control set up, and then gonna, I'm going to go ahead and add a text label. That text label is just simply going to contain the um, URL to my model. Now, my current model is stored in GitHub and is the Endeavor um, star, star, Starship from um, Star Trek. So I'm just going to um, call this control model URL just uh, to give it a real uh, value. And um, I'm gonna copy paste the address to the URL of that um, USS Endeavor ship. And um, as I said, that's stored in GitHub. So you can see here the address. Uh, I'm just gonna test that out quickly just to make sure that it downloads the asset as expected. And it, that's basically the raw image, the raw 3D model that I can open in 3D Viewer just to verify that it works. So I'm going to flip it around. Effectively, it does work uh, the way I expect it to. I'm just going to close out that quickly and go back to my app. So the next thing you'll see is um, I'm actually going to now set that viewport. I'm going to set the source to um, model URL that text that's basically the um, label control and the text within that label control oops not here what i found is that when you do set the source there it doesn't quite work as expected so um, i think it's because of the double quote so i'm just going to paste it here in the advanced options and now you can see it activates and shows the model effectively so i'm going to play this and you'll get a sense for what that um what that model looks like now you can see I can pinch in and out and it works just as expected. I can rotate it if I want, get the ship badge, uh, show different angles for USS Endeavor. So um, I'm gonna just continue playing a little bit, you know, just get it back, uh, maximize it, close the viewport. So, okay, now that I've tested that, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go back and add another one of the mixed reality components, which you can find under the MR list of MR objects. And I'm going to click and select view in MR. And that's the view in MR button, which will then allow us to view 
an augmented reality, reality version of that ship within my specific physical uh, space. So I'm just gonna then uh, play this, uh, go to file, save it, make sure that I can um, save my particular um, mixed reality app. So I'll just click on save here. And what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go ahead and um, play this on my phone. So um, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna just bring up the Your Phone app, which I already have connected to my actual um, Samsung Galaxy Note S10 device. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So now that I've loaded the Your Phone application, I'm gonna connect that to my phone screen. So I'm just gonna click here on display phone screen. And I'm gonna launch Power Apps on my phone. And as you can see, I have the Mixed Reality application here at the end. I'm just gonna click on that. And now I'm gonna authorize the camera, which I have to allow because Mixed Reality makes use of my camera, obviously, to um, do the augmented reality. But then I'm going to also click here on the view in the MR button. And um, well, for some reason, this is not doing something. So chances are I did not set the um, source. I'm just going to minimize this quickly here and go back to the app. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this view in the MR button. And then effectively, I did not set the source. So we're going to set that to model URL that, the, that text as well. And um, now I have the URL to the actual model, the 3D model that I can mix in in that particular space. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and save this again. And now this time, because it's the second time around, I have to publish this uh, application. So we're just gonna go ahead and publish the active version. Then I'm gonna go back to my phone, uh, close this app for a second and reload it effectively with um, the new version of the app. So I'm gonna be prompted here. That's um, actually part of the um, the user experience. So I'm gonna click on View MR again. Now you can see that I'm gonna position, I'm actually interacting with my physical space and I'm gonna position my phone here and I'm, I'm just simply gonna tap. As you can see, I rotate the model a little bit and now I actually have this model viewed in my space, I can even um, get up from around my desk and sort of like walk around a little bit and see how um, it behaves in my space. So I can even do a close up and, um, you know, go back to, um, you know, move around a little bit and see how that works. There you go. So that's pretty cool. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to um, Power Apps, and I'm gonna change this app a little bit around. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a gallery, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna capture all the images in that gallery from that uh, view and MR experience. So in my augmented reality, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take pictures of our USS Endeavor in that space and add them to a Power Apps gallery. So first a collection, and that collection obviously is bound to a gallery. So here we're gonna do a little bit of design work to move this out of the way. And um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to shrink this a little bit and then I move, move around the gallery a little bit. So we're just going to take this, uh, shrink it down and I'm going to remove these extra fields that I don't need. All I want to do is use the image. So I'm going to select these, probably remove that arrow as well and remove that extra control that is up there. So now that I have the gallery of pictures the way I want it, I can then just uh, do a little bit more design work, nothing too extravagant here. And I'm gonna move around the button a little bit. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go to that button um, on change event, and I'm gonna make a collection with the pictures that I capture. So I'm just gonna collect in a variable called MR pictures or a collection called MR pictures. And I'm gonna type just the, um, uh, the view uh, or actually uh, let's use the new self function. So I'm going to type self.photos and that should actually give me the pictures that are being captured from the augmented reality version of my app. 
So now um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to actually bound that gallery to this particular um, uh, collection. So I'm going to type in uh, MR pictures. Well, wrong gallery actually. So that's the image. What I'm going to do is select the gallery. And um, again, I'm going to change that to um, MR pictures. And then I'm going to switch the image to this item that um, picture M URI. So I'm just going to point it, point it to the URI of the pictures that I'm capturing. In that case, image URI. So this item, the image URI. Now that we're ready again, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, save this app and republish it. And um, we're going to just go ahead and load my phone app and uh, reconnect to the screen. And um, what I'm going to do here then is I'm going to close this again out and reload the Mixed Reality app. And I'm certainly going to go ahead and play it again. So you'll see me now click on View in MR. And that's just going to basically take uh, and bring that MR experience again, the augmented reality experience. And I'm going to tap here just to put this uh, model back on the floor of my room. And I'm going to take a few pictures. So goes one, goes two, goes three from uh, above. And one final one, why not? And I'm just going to click right here and capture that picture. So I'm going to go back to the app. And as you can see now, all my um, picture gal have been loaded to the gallery, basically in that collection. And I can actually choose now to take those pictures and share, save them in SharePoint if I wanted to, or actually load them in CDS and uh, synchronize them to Dynamics 365. Maybe I'm doing a marketing campaign, or I'm actually trying to test um, how this particular model behaves in a space. So. And that's basically it for now. Thank you very much for watching.